Hello, marketers, and welcome to the thrilling world of email marketing performance analysis. So buckle up because we're about to embark on a data-driven adventure through the land of opens, clicks, and bounces. Get ready to uncover the secrets in your email campaigns and emerge victorious with insights that will make your marketing efforts soar. So let's dive in. This first Reporting 101 video will be about configuring your email performance report. So we're going to walk through how to do that. So what you're going to want to do is log into your Marketo Engage instance and navigate to the analytics section. Here's where you have the ability to select your performance report that you're looking to do. So for this video, we're going to be focusing on our email performance. So this particular report is going to show you all of the data around how your emails are performing from an email metric perspective. So you're going to have insights on to how many emails were set for a particular email, how many were delivered, open, clicked, unsubscribed, and insights into your hard and soft bounces. So the first thing that you're going to want to do when you log in and select a particular report is you're going to want to make sure to save that report. So you have the ability to save it in a private folder or a public folder, which is the group folder. And that essentially means that the report is either, either available just to you as the user, or that report can be available to anybody else on your Marketo Engage instance. So for this one, I'm going to select the private folder and put it under my reports. And I'm just going to call this Email Performance 101. And the description here is just configuring your email performance report. And then we're gonna save that. And what you'll see is once it's saved, the folder will open up right on the left-hand side here and you'll be able to see the report that you have built. Now, there are a couple of things at the top that you're gonna to want to customize. So we have our report section here which just highlights and will show you the actual data for the emails that have selected. We have our smart list, smart list section here, which is just allowing you as the user to include or exclude particular audiences. We have the setup section, which is where you can group your data and select the particular emails that you're interested in reviewing. And then we have our subscription section, so this allows you as the user to send this report to a particular audience on a certain time frame. So we're going to start here in the setup section. So the first thing you'll notice is you have a couple of options on the side over here. You can either pull in designed archived or marketing activities archived or just regular design studio marketing activity emails. You can pull those in. You can see that we actually have the marketing activity emails pulled in here. And once you do, this will open up and you have the ability to select some emails. So once you've selected your emails from the left-hand side, they will then populate over on the right-hand side. So this will show you where everything that you are going to be viewing in the report is applicable. So once you have your email selected, you'll select apply. And then you can select a period of time. So this one is important because it will only show you information for engagements that have been sent during that period of time. So you, for example, if you have a nurture program, you can isolate it down to a particular month of that nurture program, or you can look at how the nurture program is performing all up. And then it's going to allow you to select how many rows if you wanted to export. So if you were just say looking at all of your email marketing campaigns and you had over 5,000, it's only gonna export 5,000, but you can change that by double clicking and select how many you would actually want to export. Then you can drill down into your smart list. So what this does is allow you to select who you want to include or exclude from being considered as part of the report. So this one, if I kept this in, it would look to exclude anybody with an Atumos email address or a test in their email. So I'm just gonna remove that because we'll be doing some um, changes after a bit. And then you would actually run your report. So you're just gonna click over to the report and once you do, it's gonna show you the performance of those emails that you've selected. 
And so you're going to see all of the email performance activities here, and then a summary of how those emails all up perform down at the bottom at the total section. You're going to see when the first activity happened for that particular email and when we got a last activity for that particular email. If you want to export the report, what you do is just go down to the bottom here and select export to Excel, and then you can have the report available to review on an Excel file. Now, say you didn't want to look at the report from an individual program perspective, but maybe you wanted to look at the report from a particular segment. So what you would do is just drag your segment in, select that you're the segment that you're interested in looking at, and apply. So if you navigate back over to the report area, what you'll see now is instead of looking at the individual emails, you will see how people that were sent those emails that fall within those segments performed for the particular email. This can be really helpful, for example, if you're looking at different product lines, uh, particular scores, or particular geographical locations, you can see how they engage differently with emails. Let's understand why effective email performance reporting is so crucial. Accurate and detailed reporting allows you to gauge the success of your email campaigns, understand your audience's behavior, and make data-driven decisions to optimize future campaigns. Some of the key tips for effective email performance reporting in Marketo include consistent naming conventions. One of the most fundamental practices is to ensure that your email campaigns and programs follow consistent naming conventions. This consistency is vital because it makes filtering and sorting your campaigns much easier. For example, you might use a structure like year, month, day, campaign name, and audience segment. This approach allows you to quickly locate and compare specific campaigns, ensuring that your reports are organized and easy to navigate. It's also essential to schedule regular reporting intervals. Whether it's weekly, monthly, or quarterly, consistent reporting helps you keep track of performance over time. This regularity allows you to spot trends and patterns in your data, giving you a clear picture of how your campaigns are performing and evolving. For example, you might notice that open rates tend to dip during certain times of the year, prompting you to adjust your strategies accordingly. Segmentation is a very powerful tool in email performance analysis, like shown in the video. By breaking down your audience into different segments, you can analyze performance across various groups. This segmentation could be based on demographics, behavior, purchase history, or engagement levels. And finally, benchmarking your results against industry standards and or your past performance is another crucial practice. This comparison helps you identify where you stand in relation to your peers and track your progress over time. For instance, if you see that your open rates are consistently above industry averages, it validates your strategies. Conversely, if they're below, it signals a need for adjustment. Benchmarking provides a context for your performance data, turning numbers into actual actionable insights. And there you have it. You've successfully navigated the wild terrain of email metrics and emerged with valuable insights in hand. Now, armed with this knowledge, go forth and conquer the impacts of your audience. Remember, in the epic quest for email marketing, data is your most loyal sidekick. Happy analyzing and make sure to watch any of the other Reporting 101 videos.